So I think it's great when we get new features in a new version of a DAW. It looks better, it works better, something that works smarter. But a lot of the times you have these small little features that are added or these just kind of like enhancements. And sometimes you don't even realize that how useful they are until you actually find yourself in a situation where you use them. So I'm in the process of creating um, a Studio One song for a tutorial that I'm going to do. So I'm just going to give the name of this. We're going to call this Studio One version six, and we're going to call it Pro EQ three. Now, in terms of my settings and resolution, these never really change, but I wanted to actually create a song where I'm going to import some stems. Now, I know the stems that I want to use for this particular piece of content that I'm creating. I just don't know what the BPM is. So what would I usually do? I'd usually open up a finder window and then see if I have any information or anything like that. But the whole point is it's usually two different steps. Like I've created the new song and then I always have this preference, stretch audio files to tempo. I've always have this preference enabled. And then I would create, I would drag in those, those um, actual uh, audio files and then I'd set my BPM properly. But it's always like a two-step process. But this area over here, we can either drag files directly in or we can click these three dots over here and then I have this folder that I've created. And now, because I'm pretty OCD about my naming structure and giving myself cues of BPMs and stuff like that, I can see that this is 86 BPM. So we can go ahead here and I'll just enter 86. We'll go back to the same screen and I'm just gonna select all of these audio files and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna click to add them. So basically what this is doing is it's naming it. It, it, it puts it in a very specific section. I want this to be in MH Music Sessions because I want to keep everything organized. And then when I click OK now, basically what's happening is that we are going to create a song and it's going to bring in all of our audio files that we've created in one shot. So how is this useful? Well, it's useful in the case that I'm using it right now. I've just taken two steps and I've put them into one, but also let's say that you're doing a mix session and you've been sent either stems or raw files, or let's say that you're creating a blank slate for starting for a new song and you want to add some files in there. Maybe you want to add in some reference tracks, either productions of your own that you really like the way those mixes turned out, or you have a folder somewhere with a bunch of different references that you can drag in really, really quickly. In this case, I think this is a really useful feature. It's so small, but I think it comes in handy. So I just wanted to do a really quick video on that. If you haven't seen that feature or you didn't realize that you could do that, it's really awesome. Um, there's also some other things in terms of creating some new songs. So for example, if we click either one of these over here, we can apply customization. And this would kind of be seen as our customization presets that we can have. So in this one, it's just a, a basic view. In this one over here, this would be audio editing. In this one over here, this would be complete. And this would be basically if we were to click the customize option, uh, we have the complete, we have the basic, we have the minimal, and we have the audio editing. I just created my own default because I like things to show up the same way all the time. But like I said, really useful way that we can create new songs, import our audio files from the very beginning. And also if we wanted to apply any customization for loading a very specific uh, customization profile for how we want things to look, that's something that we can do all from the new song start page. Anyways, short video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.